Hey folks, welcome to this week's edition of Brush Pile Fishing. Season six is underway. We are at beautiful Dale Hollow here in Tennessee. It's a cool spring morning, but they're actually calling for temperatures to get into the low 70s today, so it should be a great one. I'm gonna be fishing with Denny Wilbert, who's in the Dale Hollow Marina Association. Denny is a great fisherman, and he's been on some pretty nice crappie, so I am anxious to get started. And the thing is, we're getting down to the basics, bobbers and jigs. So stay tuned from Dale Hollow. We'll be right back with Brush Pile Fishing. Many people look at a lake and feel a sense of calm serenity. Crappie fishermen feel the heart-pounding anticipation of the thump. That's why host Russ Bailey is addicted to crappie fishing. It's this addiction that takes Russ from the Midwest to the Deep South in search of the best lakes, techniques, and patterns from some of the best crappie anglers in the country, right here on Brush Pile Fishing. Hey folks, welcome back to Brush Pile Fishing. We are a beautiful Dale Hollow. It's a cool spring morning, but like I said in the opening, they're calling for temperatures to get into the 70s, and I'm with Denny Wilbur. Denny, how are we doing today? Good morning, nice to meet you. Denny, you're with the uh, Dale Hollow Marina Association, That's all great. family owned. Yes, sir. And uh, I, I understand you like to do a little fishing here too. I do, I get to sneak away every once in a while and get in here and catch some crappie or bass or whatever, walleye, Just, this is a spectacular lake and full of fish. You know, Denny, we talked uh, last night um, when someone, especially from up north, when they hear about Dale Hollow, it's smallmouth, smallmouth, smallmouth. But the crappie fishing is pretty good kept secret here. It's very well kept. It is phenomenal fishing. And, and this lake is a three-part lake. We're going to be in the Obie River section today. And this is the early spring bite is up here first. And then it steadily moves down a lake. But it, it's, a, it's a great fishery that people just don't know about. Well, you know, you told me uh, also that the fishing is good year round here, but we're in the springtime just getting ready to spawn, and you said we're going to concentrate on the shallows with jigs today. Yes, sir. We're going to be throwing in some sunken trees along the banks, and we're going to hope for some big bites. Bonehead jigs, bobbers, and we're ready to get started. You ready to hit the water? I'm ready. Here we go, Let's folks. Go. Welcome back to Brush Pile Fishing. If you just joined us, we are with Denny Wilbert here on beautiful Dale Hollow, Tennessee. And I mean beautiful, folks. This is a great area down here. Just getting started this morning. And Denny, what area of the lake do you say we're fishing in? We're fishing in the Obie River. Okay. But there's two rivers that form the Dale Hollow Lake. And uh, this is where the spring fishing starts. It's shallower and warmer where the water warms up a lot sooner. Okay. And what we're doing, we're casting one 16th ounce jig heads with bonehead uh, slim sticks on right now. And we're just casting up towards the cover and then uh, bringing them in. Oh, there, there we go. First one of the morning, right. folks. Come here. I got him. There's a nice fish to get us going. We're casting, make a long cast up into the brush. But I'll tell you what, they're actually off of it. That water's a little bit colder. I don't think they're in it right now. They're back. He was almost clear back to the boat, folks. But that is a dandy to get us going That's this a morning. Good first start, yes, sir. Mm. My buddy, when he hit it, you know it. A thump. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at there, folks. Dale Hollow, Tennessee. Denny, I know you're uh, a member of the Dale Hollow Marine Associ or Association. Can you tell the folks a little bit about that? Because I know it's a family-based thing. Yes, sir. It's all the marinas on Dale Hollow. Uh, we meet and we try to do things to better the lake. We offer scholarships to the local high schools and uh, we offer another scholarship to the, each member of a fishing team from each school wow. to kind of help, help them get going in their careers. And uh, we also have uh, developed the Eagle Lake Camp for Dale Hollow. We have a Live camera that stays on an eagle's nest years round, and they watch the eagles hatch and and uh, till they fledge and fly, and it's it's pretty interesting. It it creates a lot of views and a lot of attention. That's awesome, Denny. How long have you uh, been a marina owner down here? This is our eighth year at yeah. Dale Hollow Marina, and uh, we were fortunate enough we just purchased Cedar Hill Marina last week, so we've added a second marina to us. 
I'm blessed to have my wife Mary and my three sons down here with me. And it's it's definitely a labor of love. Oh yeah. Denny and your association, how many marinas are in that? There's 15 total on this lake. Now, a brush pile tip. Hey folks, thanks for joining me for the brush pile tip. I wanna talk about the knots we were using today. Um, we caught some fish with bobbers. We caught some um, just tie lining or swinging them out, swimming them. When I swim a jig, I like to have a loop knot. And all that is, is I've ran my line through there one time, wrap it around your fingers, your two fingers, and then I'm gonna take that jig one time, put it through a second time, and all you're gonna do is pull that tight. You have a little loop in there, wet it, cinch it down. And what that does, if I'm not using a bobber, that allows that jig to swim more freely in the water. And I like that extra action. Um, the, the other thing is when we had a bobber, I always cinch that tight to the jig head because the control, when I control that bobber, I control the movement I want on the jig and it's the complete opposite when I'm swimming that back. So I want it a little bit more freely. So that's the brush pile tip. What's exciting is the winter fishing here is phenomenal. And there's nobody here. It's just all to yourself. You were telling me that in the winter, you actually just go right off your docks. Fish right off the all docks. All winter long. Yeah. That's top secret. <laughs> we don't it want was. Any, we don't want to tell anybody that. Uh, That's top secret. You know, anytime you hear Dale Hollow, it's always smallmouth, smallmouth. You don't hear a lot about the crappie fishing. That's true. It's uh, People come down here strictly for the smallmouth, and uh, there's not a lot of pressure on these crappie. And it's, uh, there's all three species in this lake, the black nose, the, the white, and the black crappie. And you'll catch one in, in any time, and they'll all be together. And it's, it's a phenomenal fishery. Stay right there. More brush pile fishing is next. War Eagle Boats, the most versatile line of hunting and fishing aluminum boats available. We strive to overcome real hunting and fishing obstacles, which drives us to create better products in the future. Check out the Blackhawk 2170, the ultimate crappie fishing boat. Built on a 22 degree V-Hull and paired with a 150 horsepower motor, you get lots of space and performance. All War Eagle Boats are built to suit the needs of our customers, guaranteeing you a boat worthy of the investment. Visit WarEagleBoats.com to get your started today. B and M poles. That's a three-pound crappie. The number one crappie pole company in the world. Got it. Got it. Whether you're jigging, trolling, pulling, or pushing, B and M has your pole. My signature series rod. Third generation family company with over 70 years experience. Home to the Bucks graphite jig poles. The first and best selling graphite jig pole in the U.S. for over 35 years. B and M poles. The number one crappie pole company in the world. Hey folks, Russ Bailey here for Brush Pile Fishing. We are here in Kentucky at Cornfield Crappie with Mark Riddle. Mark, how are we doing? Good, Russ, how are you? I'll tell you what, you just rigged our boat. Absolutely great products you have. Can you tell the folks about all you have to offer? We got our monitor mounts, we got a new bridge. The thing we've done the most with has been the cable saver. We've actually sold them worldwide. We got them out to put the live scope on the trolling motor. There you have it, folks, Cornfield Crappie. If you want the boat that looks good, Cornfield Crappie. Brush Pile Fishing is brought to you by these outstanding sponsors. B&M Poles, over 70 years of quality and performance. War Eagle, built for hunters who love to fish. Suzuki, the ultimate four-stroke outboard. Slime Line, catch the fever. Crappie Magnet, sore lip them all. Folks, what I'm doing, if you just missed it, we just caught a nice fish, and I missed one before that. They're not actually up on the shoreline right now. Um, Denny was telling me there's actually like a little rock bluff under there, and it seems like when they drop off of that is when they're hitting it. So what I'm trying to do is keep the boat in about 21 foot of water. We're throwing up into about seven, eight foot, somewhere up in that, and then just kind of working it back. And you've got to be patient. You've got to let that drop and just kind of working it slow. Now, Denny, you said yesterday, as it warmed up, they moved in shallower. They moved up against the trees. And, and you went to the bobber. Went to the bobber, and it got exciting. You know, people will write in, say they like this type of show or style, but 
we still get more response over good old bobber fishing than anything. And it is neat watching that thing on the water and then all of a sudden it's gone. <laughs> Just like that one. Well, you got oh, this. this is something. I have shoulders on it. Wait. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at there, folks. Whoa! Look at that big black. Yes, sir. Big old belly. Mmm. Good fish. I'm gonna hit you. Mmm. Water temperature, folks. We've got about 54 degrees. And we do have a little bit murky water right now, so that sun's gonna warm that up fairly quick. What kind of limits do they have here? Uh, it's a 10 inch limit with a 15 per person per day. Gotcha. The thing I like too, we're fishing, you know, in a shallow area, but you know, you talked about the fishing's great here all, all year round. You've got such deep water, you've got shallow water, you've got it all here. Correct. We, uh... We'll fish a lot of times in 35, 40 foot of water. Just, there's some good night fishing under the lights too here. Oh, that'd be awesome, especially in that clear water. Yeah, at night, summertime when it's hot and daytime, we'll fish all night. I like the way them bonehead jigs stay on your jig oh, yeah. head. They don't slip like a lot yeah. of other ones. They'll slip on you. They stay on real good. Yep. I had two or three just real light tight yeah. taps. That's how them last two were. There we go. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Come here, big boy. Oh, that's a white crappie. We caught one black and one white. He wants that bonehead? Yes, sir. All the way down there. Choked it. Beautiful fish, folks. Oh, man, when you set the hook and it kind of stops, that's a good feeling. Look at there. And, oh, that's it. Tell you what, Denny, they're just barely ticking that thing right now. I think it'll turn more aggressive as that sun warms that water. Stay where you are. More brush pile excitement is coming up. Hey folks, Russ Bailey here from Brush Pile Fishing. Exciting news, we're gonna be at the Columbus Fishing Expo February 7th through 9th. Our booth will be there. We'll be doing seminars on power trolling, single pole, shallow water techniques. Don't miss it, February 7th through 9th, the Columbus Fishing Expo. If you can't make that one, we're gonna be at Sharonville near Cincinnati, February 28th through March 1st. We'll see you there, folks. The new home for your fishing needs is boneheadtackle.com. Get all the latest product information. Shop our new and improved tackle shop. We have baits for cropping, bass, striper, sand bass, saltwater and terminal tackle, bait styles and slim stick, stump bugs, brush gliders and bulk jig heads available. Check out our superior mono line, crankbaits for bass and our top of the line carbon fiber fishing rods. Bonehead Tackle, family owned business with one goal in mind. Make fishing more fun and help all anglers catch more fish. We put the Rockport Rattler to a real test. Two champion anglers using four rods with the competition jigs against four rods using the Rockport Rattler. The result, the Rockport Rattler outfished the competition 10 to 1. Rockport Rattler, gray head. His patented rattling jig contains a rattling chamber in the body of the jig. The rattle is amplified by using water as a conductor. Rockport Rattler. Making fish hear it at much greater distances. Just like a dinner bell of fish. Look, if you don't have a Rockport Rattler, you ain't catching crappy. Brush Pile Fishing is brought to you by these amazing companies. Grand Lake St. Mary's, Crappie USA, NKT.TV, Rockport Rattler, Power Pole, Bonehead Tackle. This is where you really got a line watch, folks, because if you wait till you feel this, 
A lot of times I think they've spit it out because that bite is so light right now. And then last two, I've seen that line just move a little bit and then you feel that thump. Out on the main lake, in the middle section, we've got a lot of islands. Really? And there's a lot of underwater humps that'll come up 15 feet and they'll come oh. out of 30, 40 feet, 50, and they're all grass covered. That'd be great in the summertime. It's a great spider rigging. Denny, how big a lake is Dale Hollow? It's 31,000 acres. Uh, there's over 600 miles of shoreline. There's some arms of the lake that are as big as some of the smaller lakes around up north, uh, like a Green River or a Barren River. There's one, one arm of this lake is as big as that whole lake. It's, it's a beautiful lake, a lot of different scenery. The wildlife around here walking around. The, I've seen mountain lions walking. I've seen bears walking along the banks. And... Wow. Dale Hollow in Tennessee is stunning, even to the locals who see it every day. It's home to the world record smallmouth bass, plus the top three biggest smallmouth bass in the world. Dale Hollow Lake has some of the biggest crappie in the nation, as well as many species including bass, carp, catfish, muskie, walleye, and an abundant school of panfish. In addition, Dale Hollow has over 620 miles of shoreline with over 30,000 acres of pristine fishable waters that also provide room for all forms of water sports like skiing, snorkeling, and wake surfing. To access this amazing lake, you'll have your choice of 15 commercial marinas with amenities nearby. Dale Hollow is the top houseboating lake in the nation. There are also hotels, inns and cottages, plus all types of eateries. If you are looking for a memorable getaway, make Dale Hollow, Tennessee the top of your list. Visit fishdalehollow.com for more information. You see so much on electronics now um, and the advancements they've made. But some guys don't have that. This is a, a great time of year for them to get down here. We're fishing all visible cover. And what we're not seeing is under the water, you're feeling it. It's an easy way to fish. There he went. There it is. With the bobber. There it that's is. That's a good sign. Oh yeah, that's a good thing. What you got on there, Denny? Oh, Dale Hall Special. Ooh, he's dark. Yeah. Little male. Yeah, black crop. Oh yeah. Boy, look at there, just starting to get the tuxedo on. Spawn time. And folks, you know how I love bobber fishing. He just popped that one. Guess what I'm going to? <laughs> Back to the bobber. Nice little fish there, buddy. Folks, I don't think the cameraman can see from this far, but there's a stump just barely under the surface of the water. And them last two fish, your bobbers almost touch that stump. And buddy, they whacked it. Funny how some days they'll be tight, tight, tight on the cover, and some days they'll be to the right or to the yeah. left. It's, it's just kind of move around until you figure out which side they're on. Yep. Oh, there it is. There it is. Jiggy Bob. Nice little crappie. Yeah. Black nose. Yeah. Black nose on that crappie. There we go. Not a big one, I don't think. We're staying down there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Another black. Black nose. Black nose. He was off the bottom, folks. You've got one on the bobber here and missed a couple on the bottom. And they're right laying on them branches on the... Talk about that black nose, look at that. It's like somebody took a magic marker and just drew it in. Yep. Another good fish, folks. great fishing, check out Grand Lake St. Mary's. Located in West Central Ohio, if you're looking to land bass, catfish, crappie, perch, or bluegill, Grand Lake is the place for you. Check out greatergrandlakeregion.com.
just want to introduce that the new Brush Pile Fishing Store carries all the gear that I use in the Brush Pile Fishing Show. Just go to www.brushpilefishing.com and check out the crappie shop and find jigs, apparel, line, nets, b and poles, and so much more. In the sale and clearance sections, you'll find deep discounts on the gear that will help you put more fish in your boat. That's brushpilefishing.com. Oh yeah, chunky fish. Oh yeah. I had just made a color change. I went to the purple shad, and that's what he, and I went to a brush glider, a little bit bigger body bait. Another good fish. There we go. Get him. Maybe in there black nose, no, just a little black crappie. A little only about 11 inches. Healthy fish. Every one of these have been healthy. And we're getting different sizes, folks. So that's good. They've had several good spawns. The fish hit. He went into the branch, shook the branch, and still is on there. Oh, got it. I got that fish still. In a, in a branch, off the branch. And <laughs> That's the hard way. Whew. Mostly all black crop. I think we've only caught one white today, maybe two. But all healthy, that's for sure. Same thing, I've seen that line before I felt it. There, we got him. Oh, that's a better fish. That's a good one. Come here. Oh man, you guys got such clear water. That is so neat seeing him come through there. Come here. Oh yeah. As soon as we switch to going back on the bottom, boom, boom, turn boom. back on. Another good one. Crazy how they'll just find one little piece of structure and just hang on. Yeah. Again. Let's check in with Russ for the Brush Pile Gear Check. Hey folks, thanks for joining me for the Brush Pile Gear Check. Pretty simple rig we were using today. We're trying to get these early spawning fish and some pre-spawn fish. So what we did, um, what I was using, if I had a bobber on, I went with my 10 and a half foot signature series rod. But when I wasn't, when I was fishing off the bottom and just casting that, I went with my eight footer. A Little bit um, easier to control on your cast. Now, as far as the reel, I went with the Daiwa Fuego. That's the 1000 series. I had six pound high vis slime line and this was crucial today because especially once the wind picked up if you had clear line on which i did on my other rod you could not see that at all and the thing was the bite was so finicky every bite you would see that line jump or see it move before you felt it so the high vis line was a big uh, part of today now as far as the jig we went with 1 16th ounce and we went with bonehead and we caught some on the brush glider but that slim stick was the best bait of the day and again, guess what color? Uh, my purple shad was uh, great. It was on fire and simple rig. And again, the key was you had to see that bite because if you waited until you felt it, a lot of times that fish has had it and he spit it out. So that's today's gear check. Let's get back to the show. There he is. They're actually, Denny, the last couple have come on the air side of that log up closer the shore those are just a good keeper fish what's what you say the size limit is to keep them down 10 here? inches yes sir good sandwich you bet Denny especially in the summer how far ahead does someone have to uh, book a reservation uh, if you're going to do the holiday weekend you want to start booking in January and then um, usually off you know early season stuff you look about a week or two ahead and you can find something but if you want the holiday weekend you definitely want to get in there early so right now people can get reservations oh, yeah. and the fishing's yeah. been great today it's all going to get better it's only getting better so uh oh there it is uh -oh. oh there, there it is there it is i was just there talking it was gone in the boat oh, it the took net. off the other way oh get the net that's a, there, fish. Oh, that's a good one uh oh there we oh, go still fish you barely had him hooked. Yeah, he's talking. Oh, he just took off. Holy cow. 
Folks, you talk about one that you're lucky to get in. Look at that. Thank you. Nice Thank fish. You. Thank you, sir. Oh, look at that. Oh, another big black. Dale Hollow, folks, again, you hear nothing but smallmouth, smallmouth, smallmouth. Hopefully you've seen today, this is a great crappie fishery. This is early, the water temperature was only in the mid 50s. It's gonna get better and better, and it's easy fishing. You know, we really wanted to do an all court show, but um, we caught a few off the court, but those fish were holding tight to the structure and just bouncing that jig off the bottom was the key. Been a great time, Denny, I sure appreciate right, it. Thanks again, look forward to doing all it again right. sometime. Thank you very much. Okay. Folks, I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned because we'll be back next week with Brush Pile Fishing. Gotta be careful when you're driving out of here. I uh, was coming down here the other day and a state policeman was right behind me. He pulled right up on me. Just kept riding me and riding me. Finally, I looked up and I'm, right that time a turkey flew across the road. <laughs> he hit my truck and went up, flipped over, hit his windshield and cracked it. And I started laughing. He flipped his lights on, pulled me over, gave me a ticket. Get out of here. Yeah. I said, officer, why are you writing me this ticket? He says, for flipping me the bird. Uh, have a seat, Denny. <laughs> <laughs> For more brush pile fishing excitement, find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram.